بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The affair of the believer is all good and this is a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is due to iman and sabr and patience so having strong faith and patience and this is the affair of the mu'min and this is why in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عجبن لأمر المؤمن إن أمره كله له خير وليس ذلك لأحد إلا للمؤمن إن صابته سراء شكر فكان له فكان خيرا له وإن صابته ضراء صبر فكان خيرا له. So the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the affair of the believer all of it is good. And this is only for the mu'min. This is only for the mu'min. That if a difficulty befalls him, or if something, if ease befalls him, then he's patient. And if a difficulty or a trial or tribulation, something befalls them, then they're patient. And this is better for him. And this is collected in Sahih Muslim. So in this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu illustrated for us that all the affairs of the believer is good. And this is again due to their iman and their willingness to be, to their patience and their willingness to uh, tolerate and deal with the various situations that life may bring, that the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bring. And that's why the mu'min believes, as is one of the pillars of iman, to believe in the qadr to believe in the divine destiny the d decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the good of it and the evil that regardless of what happens having strong faith in one's heart and not despairing and knowing that it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you that trial from his divine wisdom this is from the hikmah of Allah and that if you're patient that you will have khair. And if you are forbearing and you withstand the burden and the trials that you face, then this is khair, luck. This is uh, better for you. And this is the fear of the mu'min. So that's why having strong iman, working on one's iman, is, is the way to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the way to deal with all the trials and tribulations that we deal with life because no one's life is purely easy even the people that have seem to have great ease they struggle in other ways or they have different different trials everyone is tested with something different and everyone uh, deals with things in a different manner but the believer all of it is good for him and that if he is if he has ease and if his wealth is good and, and, and things are, are coming easy for him then he's thankful and how is he thankful? He's thankful by being, being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But on the other hand, if something difficult befalls them, they lose their wealth, they lose their family, they lose their, their honor is attacked, whatever the situation is, they're patient. And that is better for them. So that means if they pass that trial with patience by being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then that's better for them. And they will have, they will be coming closer to attaining taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And taqwa Allah Azza wa uh, taqwa, as we said on countless times, as the ulama have stated, taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal is being obedient to uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands and avoiding his prohibitions. So this is taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is the affair of the mu'min. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of the mu'mineen. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد